All right, the third of the group of very short lectures is about key space. Okay. Does everybody agree that if I had one key, it would be quite easy to figure out which key to open that lock? Y'all agree with that? You ever watch Amazing Race? Where they, like, they get a lock and a whole bunch of keys and they have to figure out which key opens it? Well, if there's only one key, it would be pretty darn simple. Now, if it was two keys, would it be simple? But it would take twice as long. Do you agree with that? I, I could guess the right <laughs> one, but I might not. So it's going to take more time to do it. Okay. Now, what if I had three keys? Still doable? But now i got to go through three keys. And at this point, like a uh, prime example is that building we were in, uh, H-E, hell. H-E-S. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but we had, I had three master keys, one for each floor. Yet the funny thing was like the third floor, no, the second floor master key would open certain rooms on the third floor, but not every room on the second floor. It was crazy. But I didn't want, I wasn't too only worried about it because I wouldn't be there a couple months. But Roy actually went in and color-coded his, and I was like, well, it was crazy. But So three keys actually becomes an issue. Now, for this building, I have one key. It was Initially, I had like three different keys, but... Now, not, they gave me a master key finally, so I can get in most rooms on here. But So when you get three keys, it gets tougher. How about four keys? Getting tougher? Mm -hmm. So you can see how it would take longer to open that lock. Five, even longer. How about ten keys? We doable at this point still? Yes. We're still doable, but I would hopefully it's not the key to the restroom. You had to go real bad, because, I mean, at this point, yeah, you might be able to guess the correct key, but probably not. How about 50 keys? Give us. It's still doable, but again, that's crazy. I mean, that, that's literally too many keys, okay? Especially a question for you. What? In, uh, mechanic, in uh, locksmith's world, there's such a thing as a bump key. Yeah. Is there such a thing as a bump key in no. decryption? Um, well, in some aspects, yes. Some decryption can be broken quite easily. You know, it's, I guess if you think about the Caesar cipher, the bump key would be the shift value with three. Once you guess that, you can just get in. So, yeah. All right. So let's talk about binary real quick. Okay. Y'all remember decimal on the left side. Y'all know how to count in decimal. One through nine. And what happens when you get to nine? Well... The 9 converts to a 0 because we used all of our numbers, 1 through 9. So the 9 changes to a 0, we increment the next number. Then when we get to 19, again, we're at the 9, so then we, the 9 changes back to a 0, then the 1 increments to a 2. So 99 begin, comes to 100. Well, that's with 10 numbers. But what if we only have two numbers to work with 0 and 1? Start with a 1. We've reached our maximum number. So we change the 1 into a 0, increment the next number. Okay, then we change the 0 to a 1. Uh, now they're both at their maximum number. So increment the next number. So 4 is 1, 0, 0. It's exactly like we've done in decimal, but it's only using two numbers. Okay. Easy enough. Are we okay with that? It's not hard to figure out how that works. Okay. So 2 to the 1 is 2. Okay, 1 or 0. 2 squared gives us four possibilities. It could be all 0, or 0 and 1, or 1 and 0, or 1 and 1. You agree with that? <coughs> so 2 squared gives us four possible choices. 2 to the third, again, we know 2 because we're based 2 here. 2 to the third gives us 8, so it's 0, then 1, then 1, 0, then 1, 1, so on and so forth. Okay. So 2 to the third would give us 8 possible choices or possible keys. Okay. 2 to the 4th, so what's happening here? It's getting exponentially larger. We went from 2 to 4 to 8 to 16. So you see the number of choices are growing. Okay. So 2 to the 8th will give us 256 possibilities. So that's like 256 different possible keys. So how about 2 to the 25th? Is that enough keys to keep your data safe? Especially not with computers that can check, you know, millions of keys per second. But how, what number is that? That's um, thirty-three billion five hundred fifty-four million four hundred and thirty-two. <coughs> that's 
That's a pretty darn large number. Still, 33 billion. Even if I'm checking a million keys per second, that's still going to take a long darn time to check. So why is it 25 enough? Because it will be eventually broken. It'll be eventually something. We'll get to it. Okay. How about 40? Okay. 56. That's what Des was. 56 bit. It actually wasn't, but pretend it was. 56 bit. That's the key size of Des. So is that a large enough number to secure data? It was when Des was out there. Not anymore. But still, that's still a pretty darn big number. Okay? How about 128 bit encryption? I mean, people complain with 1024, but look how many choices there are with 128 bit <coughs> encryption. That's a lot of damn keys. So, doesn't that, I mean, in my head, I look at that, I'm like, wow. What am I securing where that's too small of a number? That, I mean, I don't care what you're testing, but it's still going to take, you know, an awful long time, okay? How about 256-bit encryption? That's 256. I mean, that's like crazy huge. Look at that number, okay? 1024. So is that not enough possibilities? I mean, that's, that's crazy. I think, is this as far as I go? Okay, I went 2048. There we go. That's enough. Okay. <laughs> but, you know, um, see, he was here earlier. Who was here when I made the popcorn? Was it you? Oh, he was. I made popcorn earlier. I burned it. Because I have a new microwave in my office. Okay? It's one of the cheapest, not the cheapest one, but one of the low-end microwaves <laughs> you can buy at Walmart because I just wanted a new microwave. It's 1,200 watt. That's more than I have in my house. <laughs> and this was a low-end microwave. Why don't you take the low end to your house? Well, because it's mounted on the wall. But the problem was, I always cook my popcorn for 2 minutes and 20 seconds at home. Well, that's with 1,000 watt. 1,200 watt, at 2 minutes it was already burnt. Is there a popcorn button? Yeah. How long is the popcorn button grease out on that? I don't remember. We did. We hit it twice, and it was a minute and a half, and it still came out a little bit burnt. <coughs> I was like, Ugh. But my point is, you know, that microwave, even a <coughs> microwave. To, I mean, the weight of the microwave is so much lighter than the old ones, because technology is changing. So you know, this might be plenty today, but what about tomorrow? You know, Moore's law every eighteen months. You know, process or really basically the speed of your computer doubles. So is that enough? No. Makes you think. Would you that's my RSA key. Not my RSA key, my PGP key, I'm sorry. Actually it's either it's either ten twenty four or twenty forty eight. I can't remember which one I have. Uh, but is that enough yeah. That's that's enough for today. But you never know tomorrow it could be something different. There's always what oh by the way, you always know what's happening tomorrow? Wednesday. Oh, it's Wednesday. Not to September, does it ring a bell? Um, you all fail. No, it's the uh, next Apple event they're going to announce. Uh, Apple. All that awesome yeah. stuff that Apple does. <laughs> you all fail. So don't bother me tomorrow around noon. I'm going to be busy. I'm going to be busy from noon to... I watched watching that last one in your office. I watched it. You were here, weren't you? Here. Okay, there you go. When they unveiled the Apple Watch, and there's like a discount. All right. <laughs> so that that just gives you an idea of key space. It's really, I don't know, it's kind of different. 